Hello everyone, in my previous video I have shown how you can use SelfCut's amazing align tool to align one object to another and even with a set offset distance and with great precision. But that's not solving all of the use cases. If you have for example these two objects and I want to position this cone on one side of the cube, I can use the align tool to position them, but I still need to rotate this object. I want the bottom of this to be facing the side over here. In this particular case, I can rotate this by 90 degree on the z-axis and then I can use the align and align them. Um, but if we're dealing with more complex objects, not a basic cube, and you don't know your angle of rotation, uh, this can become quite complicated. And also the offset will be quite complicated because it's not aligned to specific sides. It may be a very complex object and uh, many uh, endless amount of, of sides of planes. So this is where we have this amazing magnet tool in the move. If you go to the move tool in the advanced settings, there's something called magnet. If you turn the magnet on, now if you're gonna, you see over here an icon magnet, if you start using this, look what's happening. Now this actually follows and sticks to the object. We do not have over here the option to have an offset like in the align tool, but it's kind of quite interesting this can stick to an object. The, another interesting point about this is that this works together with this settings, gizmo settings. We have in all of the other tools um, and many of the other tools the option to set custom gizmo position from here or use one of the defined places. And this will also affect, this can have available even without the magnet. And this is kind of helpful how you move and that's the topic of another video. But for now, if you have the magnet on, this will actually affect how this works. So for example, if I'm changing it like this and now I do the magnet, you see this changes the behavior as well because it aligns the magnet based on the gizmo position. So you can play around with these settings, but basically what that means is that we have a certain position and that based on that position, it will kind of snap it uh, to the object. But if you change the position of this, it will change it differently. And you, should, you would need to play around to get an exact feel and hold of it and know how to position the manual gizmo position and how this will work. So let's give it another try. If I position my gizmo over here and now I do magnet, you see, now it's basically doing it again because I basically positioned it in the bottom. Uh, the same way if I position my gizmo over here, then I'm assuming it will, and then I go magnet, it will kind of stick to the side. Um, it's not, um, somehow my gizmo is not positioned to this place. Let's see, it somehow got moved away. So if I do it like this, and now let's move. Okay, so now you see how it works. Okay, so now it's focusing on this side. So that's basically, um, I think the standard positions may work sometimes, but in many cases, especially the little complex objects, you would probably want to use manual gizmo position to work with that. So another day, another cool tool, uh, tip. Uh, please subscribe and like, and I hope to update uh, a few more in the next few days. Okay, thank you. Have a great day. Bye.